IELTS Speaking Part 2 Topic Describe a cultural tradition or custom that is important in your country. What is the tradition or custom? When and how is it celebrated or practiced? Why is it significant in your country's culture? How does it contribute to the sense of identity? One of the important cultural tradition in my country, Brazil, is carnival. This vibrant and energetic festival is deeply ingrained in Brazilian culture and is celebrated in various cities across the country, most notably in Rio de Janeiro and Salvador. Carnival is a massive street party that takes place annually, usually in February or March, leading up to the Christian season of Lent. The festivities last for several days and attract both locals and tourists from around the world. It is a time of revelry, music, dance, and elaborate parades. One of the highlights of Carnival is the Samba Parades. Samba schools from different neighborhoods and communities spend months preparing their extravagant floats, costumes, and choreography. These parades showcase the vibrant colors, infectious rhythms, and captivating performances of Brazilian culture. Samba dancers, adorned in dazzling outfits, move to the pulsating beats of drums and showcase their impressive footwork and choreography. Music plays a central role in carnival, with samba being the predominant genre. Samba bands, known as blocos, take to the streets and perform lively music that encourages everyone to dance and join in the festivities. The rhythm and energy of the music are infectious, creating an atmosphere of joy and celebration. Carnival is not just about the parades and music, it is a time when people can express themselves freely and embrace their individuality. Many attendees wear elaborate costumes and masks, transforming themselves into fantastical characters and embracing the spirit of creativity and playfulness. The significance of carnival in Brazilian culture goes beyond its entertainment value. It is a time when people come together, regardless of their background or social status, to celebrate their shared heritage and enjoy the pleasures of life. The festival fosters a sense of community, inclusivity, and unity, reinforcing the Brazilian spirit of hospitality and joy. Carnival also has economic importance for Brazil. It attracts a significant number of tourists, generating revenue for local businesses, hotels, and the tourism industry as a whole. Additionally, the festival provides employment opportunities for artists, performers, and artisans who contribute to the creation of the elaborate costumes, floats, and decorations. In conclusion, Carnival is a cherished cultural tradition in Brazil that showcases the vibrancy, diversity, and exuberance of Brazilian culture. It is a time of music, dance, and celebration, where people come together to express themselves and revel in the joyous atmosphere. The festival promotes unity, inclusivity, and cultural pride while also contributing to the economy and tourism industry. Carnival is a true reflection of the Brazilian spirit and serves as a testament to the country's rich cultural heritage. IELTS Speaking Part 2 Topic Describe a cultural tradition or custom that is important in your country. What is the tradition or custom? When and how is it celebrated or practiced? Why is it significant in your country's culture? How does it contribute to the sense of identity? In the vibrant tapestry of Bangladeshi culture, one tradition shines brightly, captivating hearts and fostering unity, Pohila Boishak. This cultural extravaganza marks the Bengali New Year and holds immense significance in the hearts of Bangladeshis across the globe. Pohila Boishak falls on the first day of the Bengali calendar, typically celebrated on April 14. The festivities commence with the break of dawn, as people clad in traditional attire throng the streets, adorning themselves with shaka, shell bracelets, and pola, red coral bangles. The day unfolds with joyous processions, folk music, and traditional dances such as the mesmerizing Mongol Shobhajatra. Food plays a central role, with families relishing traditional delicacies like pantabot, fermented rice, and eilish mock, hillsaw fish. The significance of Pohila Boishak transcends mere celebration, it is a symbol of cultural resilience and unity in diversity. Bangladesh, a nation born out of a struggle for identity, finds solace and strength in this tradition. 
Despite diverse religious and ethnic backgrounds, Pohila Boishak unites Bangladeshis under a common cultural umbrella, fostering a sense of belonging and fraternity. This tradition embodies the spirit of inclusivity, welcoming people from all walks of life to partake in its festivities. It serves as a platform for cultural exchange, where folk artists showcase their talents, craftsmen exhibit their wares, and communities come together to celebrate their shared heritage. Moreover, Pohila Boishak transcends geographical boundaries, with expatriate Bangladeshis around the world commemorating the occasion, keeping the flame of tradition alive. At its core, Pohila Boishak contributes to the collective identity of Bangladeshis, instilling a sense of pride in their rich cultural heritage. It serves as a reminder of their resilience in the face of adversity and their unwavering commitment to preserving their traditions amidst a rapidly changing world. Through Pohila Boishak, Bangladeshis reaffirm their cultural identity, passing down age-old customs and values to future generations. In conclusion, Pohila Boishak stands as a beacon of hope and unity in Bangladeshi culture. Its celebration transcends religious and ethnic divides, fostering a sense of belonging and pride among Bangladeshis worldwide. As the sun rises on each Pohila Boishak, it illuminates not just the dawn of a new year, but also the enduring spirit of a nation united in its cultural diversity. IELTS speaking part two topic. Describe a cultural tradition or custom that is important in your country. What is the tradition or custom? When and how is it celebrated or practiced? Why is it significant in your country's culture? How does it contribute to the sense of identity? Pongal is a vibrant and ancient cultural tradition celebrated predominantly in the southern state of Tamil Nadu, India. This festival, deeply embedded in the agrarian roots of the region, marks the harvest season and is dedicated to the sun god, Surya, symbolizing gratitude for a bountiful harvest. It is celebrated with fervor and joy, embodying the essence of Tamil culture and its close connection to agriculture. The celebration of Pongal typically spans four days, each with its own unique significance and rituals. The first day, Bogi, is marked by discarding old belongings and celebrating new possessions, symbolizing the destruction of old habits and vices. Bonfires are lit, and houses are cleaned and decorated. The second day, Thai Pongal, is the main event where freshly harvested rice, milk, and jaggery are boiled together in a new clay pot until they overflow, symbolizing prosperity. This dish, called Pongal, is offered to the sun god amidst chants and prayers. The third day, Metu Pongal, is dedicated to cattle, especially cows, which are adorned with colorful beads, bells, and flowers, acknowledging their pivotal role in agriculture. The final day, Kanam Pongal, is a time for socializing and family reunions, where people visit relatives and friends, and various traditional games are played. Pongal is emblematic of Tamil Nadu's rich cultural heritage and holds profound significance in the state's cultural fabric. It is more than just a harvest festival, it is a celebration of life's plenitude and nature's bounty. This festival reinforces the values of gratitude, respect for nature, and the importance of community and family bonds. It is a time when people come together, transcending social and economic barriers, to share their joy and express their thankfulness. The celebration of Pongal also contributes significantly to the sense of identity among Tamils. It serves as a cultural touchstone, reminding individuals of their ancestral roots and the agrarian lifestyle that sustained their forebears. Through its rituals and traditions, Pongal fosters a sense of belonging and pride in Tamil culture. It is a moment for the community to collectively honor their heritage and preserve their customs, passing them down through generations. In conclusion, Pongal is not merely a festival but a manifestation of Tamil Nadu's enduring connection with nature and agriculture. It is a time when the resplendent cultural traditions of the region are on full display, enriching the social and cultural tapestry of the community. The festival's emphasis on gratitude, unity, and cultural pride makes it a cornerstone of Tamil identity, ensuring that the legacy of this ancient celebration continues to thrive in the modern era. IELTS speaking part 2 topic. 
Describe a cultural tradition or custom you find interesting. What is the tradition or custom and which culture does it belong to? What are the main features or elements of the tradition? Why do you find it interesting or unique? How does it contribute to the cultural identity of the community? One of the most fascinating cultural traditions in Nepal is the intricate festival of Tihar, also known as the Festival of Lights. This tradition belongs to the Hindu culture and is celebrated by Nepali Hindus with great fervor and enthusiasm. Tihar spans five days and usually occurs in October or November, coinciding with the Hindu lunisolar calendar. The quintessential feature of Tihar is its lavish display of lights, oil lamps, and candles which adorn homes, streets, and temples. Each of the five days holds unique significance. The first day, Kag Tihar, is dedicated to crows, believed to be messengers of death. The second day, Kukur Tihar, honors dogs for their loyalty and protection. The third day, Gai Tihar and Lakshmi Puja, venerates cows and the goddess of wealth, Lakshmi. The fourth day, Guru Tihar and Mapuja, is dedicated to oxen and self-worship, particularly in the Niwar community. The fifth and final day, Bai Taika, celebrates the bond between brothers and sisters with elaborate rituals and the application of multicolored taika, a mixture of rice, yogurt, and vermilion, on foreheads. I find Tihar exceptionally interesting due to its kaleidoscopic nature and the deep symbolism embedded in each ritual. It is not merely a festival but a harmonious blend of spirituality, familial bonds, and respect for all living creatures. The practice of honoring animals such as crows, dogs, cows, and oxen highlights the interconnectedness of life and the reverence for nature within Nepali culture. Moreover, the meticulous preparation of colorful mandalas and rangoli, decorative patterns, and the melodious singing of Dusi and Belo songs by children add to the festival's charm. This tradition significantly contributes to the cultural identity of the Nepali community by reinforcing social values and familial ties. Tihar serves as a cultural bedrock, fostering a sense of unity and collective identity among Nepalis. The rituals and festivities act as a cultural repository, preserving ancient traditions and passing them down through generations. It also showcases the rich cultural mosaic of Nepal, illustrating how diverse ethnic groups within the country celebrate Tihar with their unique customs yet share a common cultural thread. In essence, Tihar is not just a celebration, it is a vibrant tapestry of Nepali culture, reflecting the profound respect for life, the importance of familial bonds, and the harmonious coexistence with nature. It is this multifaceted and resplendent nature of Tihar that makes it a truly unique and captivating cultural tradition. Hope you liked our video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to keep us motivated.